Welcome to a new video. In this video we are going to solve some Python interview questions together. I'm going to firstly give you the questions and you can try to solve them by yourself by pausing the video or you can watch my solution. Let's start with the first question, palindrome check. Write a function to determine if a given string is palindrome, reads the same forwards and backwards. For example, race car is palindrome because in both sides it gets read the same. You can pause the video or watch my code. Here we are going to define a function as is palindrome and it's going to take the string and we will say as string dot lower and we will say replace this with this and we are going to return string equals the s we are going to add two of this and we will say minus one here here is our function for checking the palindromes this code takes a string as input converts it to lowercase and removes spaces then it checks if the string is equal to its reverse let's test it let's say print is palindrome let's give the race car true one and print this here you can see the true let's check for a false one let's check like print is palindrome let's give hello inside of it and you're going to see the false it works smoothly let's do one more example is palindrome goodbye no okay it's great now question number two Fibonacci sequence. Write a function to generate the first n numbers of the Fibonacci sequence. The output is going to be 0, let's say we give 7, 0, 1, 1. I'm going to tell you the logic of it 3, 5, and 8. So if the n is 7, this is the output of the requested function. The logic is every number is the addition of previous two of them. So the 1 here is the combination of 1 and 0 and the 2 here combination of 1 and 1 and the 8 here is 5 and 3. Okay, let's do it. We are going to define function as Fibonacci and let's give n here Fibonacci sequence and we will say 0 and 1 in list while length Fibonacci sequence less than n next Fibonacci sequence we will take the minus 1 here plus Fibonacci sequence minus 2 the addition of them so the thing here we are going to append this to our list like append next Fibonacci and let's return this by let's return the list we have here is our function for it in this code we start with the first two fibonacci numbers and continue adding the next number by summing up the last two so you can see here we are giving the first two numbers and we are getting the addition of the previous two ones and we are appending it to our fibonacci sequence list okay let's try it out in this code we start with the first two fibonacci numbers and continue adding the next number by summing up the last two. So you can see here we are giving the first two numbers and we are getting the addition of the previous two ones and we are appending it to our Fibonacci sequence list. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, let's take print, start with seven. Also, you can give big numbers like 50 and you are going to see the sequence here so i want to talk about something here this works smoothly right if we pass five it's going to return the five numbers seven we did seven nine nine numbers okay cool but if you pass zero one and two we are going to get the same results that's because the base list is the same with this number since we are doing the condition here Fibonacci sequence length is less than n we are getting the same list this list here in the 0 1 and 2 okay great okay final question it's two sum so what's it given an array of integers and a target sum 
find two numbers in the array that add up to the target sum. Which means that, let me quickly show you that one for showing the logic. Let's create an array like 2, 7, 11. This is going to be given array to the function and we are going to give the 9 like this. So what we are trying to find is which indexes give this 9 as their sum. So the result of this should to be 0 and 1 since the multiplication. Now we can reach to this 9. It's the goal. So from our example, we should get something like 0 and 1 since the addition of 2 and 7 gives this 9. We need a function like this. We are going to pass two things inside, array and the target, and it's going to return the index numbers. Okay, let's code it. Define two sum nums as array target, and we will do number indices. We are going to use this later on in this function. We will say for i number in enumerate, nums let me quickly fix the typo there also i'm planning to record a tutorial in this enumerate thing since it's a really useful feature complement because the target minus numbers and we will say if complement in number indices return number indices and we will say complement and i so now the last thing we will say number indices num equals to i and we are going to return with this for loop none here okay let's talk about it this code uses a dictionary to store previously seen numbers and their indices it looks for the complementary number needed to achieve this target sum. Let's test this out. Let's do like print and we are going to call our function to sum and we will say let's just give the array of give the example 2, 7, 11, 15 and let's give the target here and let's just run this. Great. Okay, it works for one number. Well, let's try more. Let's do like 18 which needs to give 1 and 2 since the it's addition of these two and let's run this. Great. Let's do a final check like 26 here. It needs to give 2 and 3. Great. Okay. That was all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm creating data science and programming content. So if you want to see more of them in your YouTube feed, you can subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.